this is David for Big Bits, and in this video we're going to go over the fill function again for TradingView with its Pine script. And what we are actually going to be doing this time is a conditional fill, which isn't an actual option that's built in to the fill function itself. But uh, what we're actually going to be doing is making this happen using the code and a couple of tricks to use conditional filling to only show it when we want it to be shown. Now one of the things you'll notice from the last video is we compared plots to plots and horizontal lines to horizontal lines but in the last video uh, we were using a plot for the RSI value and we were using a horizontal line to show the overbought and the oversold lines on the RSI indicator here. Now what we're going to be doing in this video is we're actually going to have to use a plot so that we can compare the RSI to the oversought or over oversold or overbought lines and what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a conditional fill where if the RSI is above the overbought line it'll fill that in between the overbought line and the RSI only when it's overbought green or red excuse me and then when it's below the oversold value it'll fill between the oversold line and the RSI value as green now you'll notice I took away a lot of the code if you watched the last video so really all we have now is our plot the RSI value for that plot and then of course the values we have set for the overbought and the oversold levels now we're going to have to plot our overbought value and we're going to have to set that equal to a plot and what you'll probably be tempted to do is to do exactly this. Let me go through here and show you this. Okay, you can see this essentially gives us what we had in the last video, although it doesn't have the little gaps between the lines what is actually happening here is you're plotting a single value consistently over and over and you'll actually see it here whereas with the horizontal line you didn't see that value here and we don't really need to see this line what we really want is we only want to see the fill between the two so we're gonna have to do a little bit of work here to get this to actually work now the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set our display for the value equal to display dot none so now it should no longer show that particular value. So now uh, we can't really see what's going on. You can see it still actually prints the value up here, but if you want to get this effect, you're, you're probably going to have to do it this way. So what we're going to actually have to do is we're going to use a conditional plot. Now we've seen this before in the past, and it's very simple. So we're just going to compare our RSI to our overbought, and if our RSI is greater than the overbought, then we're going to plot that horizontal line at the overbought value. Otherwise, we're not going to plot anything. So I'm going to save this. You still won't be able to see anything, but we should be able to compare it. So you'll see uh, the blue value here where it says NA. That's where the RSI is not above the overbought value. And I'll actually go ahead and cut the display none out so you can kind of see what's actually going on. So it uh, kind of shows you there what's going on, but it doesn't really give you the best picture there for what we're actually looking for. Now, what we're going to be doing next, once we set that display to none, we're going to be filling between the two. And we're going to start with our overbought, and only when that exists can it show up on the screen. So then we're going to fill between it and the RSI plot and we're going to set that color equal to color dot red. So this should only show us uh, a fill between 70 and RSI when the RSI is above 70. And I'm going to set the transparency equal to zero. That way it's uh, standing out very well and you can actually see what's going on. There you go. So you can see it did it a couple of times here where it went above the overbought value and it stands out a little bit better in areas where it goes very far overbought instead. So really just to do the same thing, we can just copy and paste what we have here and replace our values in regards to oversold. So we'll replace our OBs with OSs and we're going to be looking for an RSI under the oversold value. And if it is, we'll return the oversold value and we'll change this to say oversold 
and then we will fill between our oversold and our RSI and this one will actually be lime to match our other nice green colors and our transparency is already set so there you can see now we have a conditional fill to where when our RSI is above the overbought value it'll fill between the RSI and the overbought value and then also on the RSI and the oversold value and like I mentioned in the last video, if you set the RSI uh, overbought and oversold values to an input to where people can go to the settings and change those here, then those values can change and you can actually change where the fill actually occurs without editing the code. And if you want to know how to do that, you can go back in some of my other videos where we talk about inputs and you can get that figured out. Now, uh, if you want to check the reference for PineScript, you can always go to the PineScript language reference manual. I highly suggest you check this out so you can get an idea of what's actually going on. Uh, but other than that, I think this is a pretty quick video overall. I haven't really checked the time on it, but uh, I think everything went really well. There may be another video related to Phil. I will have to check out a couple of things and see if I actually want to go that direction in the next video. But we've had two now, and that's uh, pretty advanced for the filling if you're not familiar with coding. Uh, this might be a, a little harder for you to understand or grasp, but uh, I think if you've been following along with the series, you should have gotten what we've done today pretty well. But other than that, that's it for this video. Please, as always, like this video if you did like the content, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. You'll get a notification when other videos come out. Always check out the TradingView profile. You can follow me there where you can get updates on my ideas and scripts. And of course, if you are considering a paid plan on TradingView, please consider the referral link in the description of the video where you can get $30 and I will also get $30 towards another re renewal of the paid plan. So that is it for this video. I thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one and have a nice day.